Blue Bricks by Property Lim Brothers is back here in Canberra and today we are bringing you to East Crown to view a move-in condition, top floor, high ceiling, 5-room corner unit with $45,000 worth of renovations done. Let's go! Stay tuned with us all the way to the very end as we are going to share with you 5 BB renovation ideas for this home. Now let's talk BB facts. East Crown at Canberra has recently reached its MOP with a remaining lease of 95 years. This project consists of a total of 8 blocks standing at 13 storeys high with a mixture of 2 to 5 room flat types. The unit we are in today is at block 1 to 90 with a mixture of 4 and 5 room configurations. For 5 room units, there are two different kinds of facings. One is the internal facing and one is the external facing. And for our unit here today, we are actually facing the external facing which you have an unblocked view. So if you're looking for a super rare top floor 5 room corner unit that has an unblocked view, then this unit is just for you. Next, let's move on to the BB floor plan analysis. This 5 room corner unit standing at 113 square meters you have a ceiling height of 2.8 meters, which is higher than your normal 2.6 meter ceiling. You have an extremely spacious living and dining area, an enclosable kitchen, with a home shelter tucked nicely to one corner, and on the other side, you have your service yard, two common bedrooms, a common bathroom, your master bedroom, as well as a master ensuite. You also have an option of adding a study room right in your living and dining area. This layout is regular and efficient and easy to configure based on your preference. Now let's talk about the BB location analysis. So Canberra was located in District 27 and has undergone much rejuvenation and is one of the newest towns in Northern Singapore. In this cluster, East Crown was one of the first BTO plots followed by East Wave, East Bank, East Delta and East Ling with the latest project being Canberra Vista, which is on the opposite side of the Canberra MRT station. We are also within 10 minutes walk to Canberra MRT station. Three stops down, you get to Woodlands MRT interchange, where you can hop on to the Thomson East Coast Line. Five stops down is where you'll reach Bishan MRT interchange and where you can then switch to the Circle Line. For malls nearby, you have Canberra Plaza, Sembawang Shopping Centre and Sun Plaza. The upcoming Bukit Canberra will offer residences easier access to amenities. The new North-South Corridor, stipulated to be completed by 2026, will better connect the northern and central parts of Singapore. Now let's talk about the interior. The owners have spent $45,000 on renovations, which also include this digital lock from Yale. Just beside your door is where you have your DB box as well as your shoe cabinet. So the moment you enter into the unit, you'll be fascinated by the huge amount of space that this living room has. And what you have over here is floating cabinetries and TV console already installed, which makes cleaning underneath much easier. This unit is also bright and breezy because you have six window panels which is south facing and have an unblocked view. So you also have spotlights, a ceiling fan, air conditioning as well as wood grain house already installed. Now on your left is where you have your designated dining area space and this is great because you can fit up to a 10 or 12 seater dining set if you're someone who likes to host. Overall, the home has a minimalistic Scandinavian vibe because your dining space is so huge, you also have the provision to leave your two-door fridge over on this corner instead of having it in your kitchen. But if you would like to place it back in the kitchen, you may also do so. Your kitchen is enclosable. If you are someone who likes to do heavy cooking, this option is great. But if on normal days you're not doing any cooking, you can always just open this up and make the space look much bigger. Your countertops have already been done up with ample storage space and if you would like, you also have the provision to do up more cabinetries over here. On the side of this counter, you also have Ubic tracks installed. Over in this corner is where you have your home shelter nicely tucked away. Great because it does not eat into your living or dining space. 
and over on the other end is where you have your service yard and this is a great space to place your washer and dryer and also do up some shelvings over here. We have three panels of window space and this is facing northeast where you get plenty of morning sun. Now let me hand over to George who will bring you through the BB pricing analysis. Alright, so before we dive straight into the pricing analysis, I think it's very important for us to understand the demographics of the different type of unit segregation right here in Canberra. Now, if you're looking for a five-room configuration right here within Canberra, they are only available towards the clusters that is just on the right-hand side of Canberra Crescent. Now, starting from the furthest cluster away from the MRT station, you have East Bank at Canberra. Low to mid-floor five room at an average asking price of six hundred eighty to about seven hundred over thousand dollars. And for five room high floor unit, the average asking price is ranging from between seven hundred fifty to eight hundred thousand. As we move towards the next cluster, East Wave at Canberra, the low to mid floor average asking price is ranging between $708,000 to $738,000. High floor unit is going at about $750,000. And last but not least, at our cluster, East Crown, the average asking price for low to mid floor is ranging between $680,000 to about $720,000. And the high floor is going at about $758,000. For our units being the top floor as well as the corner units, we are going at an asking price of $750,000. So in totality, if you are looking for five room within Canberra, you only have these three cluster and if you want to be in an area where you are not too far away from the MRT station, you want a top floor corner unit with this very beautiful unblocked view, moving condition house and a very attractive asking price of just $750,000, then I think this is the unit that you might want to check out. Sorry, so moving on to the BB financial analysis. For this unit, we are going at an asking price of $750,000. If you are a first-timer couple buying into this 5-room flat, you'll be eligible for family grants of $40,000. And if you are staying within 4 km to your parents, you will then be eligible for proximity housing grant of $20,000. And last but not least, depending on your income bracket, you might be eligible for the enhanced housing grant. Now, if you are purchasing HDB, you can either go for the HDB loan or the bank loan. Now for HDB loan, your down payment will then be 15% which can be covered fully from your CPF and for bank loan, your down payment will then be 25% of which 5% is cash and the remaining 20% will then be either CPF or cash. Now assuming you're a married couple at the age of 30 and you're both earning a gross income of about $6,000 each, that will definitely qualify you in terms of the loan eligibility to purchase this unit with an asking price of $750,000. Now, if you were to take a HDB loan with an interest rate of 2.6% spread over 25 years with an LTV of 85%, that will bring your monthly mortgage to be $2,892, of which you can offset from your CPF OE contribution, and all you need to do is just to top up additional $132 on a monthly basis for your monthly mortgage. Now, on the other hand, if you are taking a bank loan with a very conservative interest rate of about 1.8%, spread over 25 years, LTV of 75%, that's going to bring your monthly mortgage to be $2,329, out of which you can definitely cover with your entire OA contribution without having to fork out cash. Of course, this is not factoring into account of any grants that you might be eligible for. In the event that you do, that will definitely reduce your loan amount further. As we enter to this very first bedroom, now the bedroom is kind of like a blank canvas state. Of course, the condition is still very well kept. You can just basically add a splash of paint and I think you're all set to go. Again, this is fronting towards a very same view as a living area, so you get a lot of natural sunlight coming in. No western sun exposure. Bedroom size are great. Both are identical in terms of the shape and size. You can currently fit in a single size bed. And of course, you still have a space for your study area. So if you wish to go with the current setup, you can definitely still fit in with this kind of configuration, but otherwise, you can definitely still expand it into the queen size kind of setup. Flooring for the common bedrooms as well as the master, they are all tiles, they are not parquet, so it's extremely sturdy and very easy to maintain. Same bedroom kind of configuration, this is again a very blank canvas state, so it's up to your imagination to do up to your own liking, but otherwise, if you wish to have this as your study area, you can fit in a big size table, provision for a printer right over here, shelvings for your additional storage of your documents as well as your work stuff. But if you wish to install wardrobes, you definitely still have the provision of space to do so. Now this is a common bathroom and if you notice, this common bathroom is actually generous in terms of its ceiling height. I think this ceiling height is about 2.8 meters, so it's only available for the top floor units. WC shower area as well as the basin has all been done up. Common bathroom size is decent enough, not too big, so definitely great space for you and your family to enjoy. Now master again is huge in size, 
I think this is the kind of size that is very hard to come by in today's market. This is fitted with king size, two side tables, and you have four panels of wardrobes that is L-shaped in fashion, already lined up over here. And again, you have three panels of windows that is tucked towards this corner, so allowing a lot of natural sunlight coming in. And if you notice for the design of the HEB right over here, you have this overhang structure that is just right outside the window. So that allows you to open up the window even though when it is raining, allowing a lot of airflow coming into the units and as you move towards a master ensuite, master ensuite, you do not have the door that is facing towards your bath. Storage cabinets with mirror have already been done, and you have this American standard basin tucked towards here. And you have this Hans Grohe rain shower as well as standing shower set already installed. So for this entire bathroom, what you will be getting is a very moving type of condition. You do not need to do much. Huge ventilation window is already been provided for by HDB. So what you'll be getting is essentially three proper size bedrooms, especially for this master. Great space. Now for this master bedroom, fans as well as spotlight have been done. AC have been installed. So the only thing that you need to bring along is just the entire mattress set. Alright, so now let's join Tabby as she share more with you about the 5 BB reno ideas you can do for this house. So the first BB renovation idea that we have for you is perhaps you can configure this area into your study by enclosing this with glass partitions and installing cabinetry such as desks and drawers. So for the second BB reno idea, the owners are actually taking this home with them and if you want to have a built-in stove and oven, what you can do is to add in more cabinetries and have your built-in stove and oven right here. On top of that, you also have provision to add on more carpentries such as cabinets on top for more storage space. The third BB Reno idea we have for you is perhaps you could install some cabinetry such as wardrobes as there are no built-ins in your common rooms and you can decorate them based on your preference. The fourth BB Reno idea that we have for you is perhaps you could consider retiling the bathroom floors and walls so that tiles match, giving it the illusion of a bigger space. The last BB Reno idea that we have for you is perhaps if you find four panels of wardrobe space is not enough for you, there's plenty of provision over here for you to install more cabinetry. Alright, so we come to the end of this beautiful home tour right here in 129C Canberra and just to give you a quick recap, this is a 5 room sitting on the top floor corner units with a beautiful unblocked view just right over here asking price at $750,000 moving condition with about $45,000 worth of renovation being pumped in If you like what you see, do get in touch with our listing team the contact details are right down below Do remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok channels for more content My name is Tabitha Josh Payne Blue, Blue Bricks by Property Lane Brothers. Brothers Always, Always happy, happy to show you the place, place. So it's only available for the so it's, a, so it's only available for the... You can fit up to a 10 or 12 seater, probably. My name is Tabitha. George Bay. Blue, Blue Bricks by, by Property. Property Brothers. Brothers. <laughs>